Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Lena and I'd like to talk to you about a book by Cormac, Cormac McCarthy, The Road. I don't have a beautiful cover to show you, only this one. It was our April peak for the Goodreads book club Are We Not Entertained? All the links I'll leave in the info box down below. Usually we choose a book with mixed reviews, with a mixed um, ratings to see for ourselves what uh, people could love, love about this book and what people could hate about it. With, the, uh, with this book, The Road, I couldn't find anything any that people could hate about this book. I, th I think it's a very good book. The only thing that I think people could uh, be very uncomfortable about is the scene itself, uh, the narration itself, the story itself, and the world that book uh, pictures for us. First of all, uh, the text itself is a very, I wouldn't call it experimental, I would call it unusual, because it, it is complete, completely stripped from everything <laughs> there is no quotes, quote marks there is no this small thing in don't and can't there is no uh, dash dashes there is no he said he said he answered there is no such thing and uh, all the dialogues are written as a part of the paragraph there is there is no usual you know line by line dialogues and for me personally it felt like the whole book was written on these scraps of paper and it add uh, it added to the narration itself the main characters the man and the child, they don't even have names. The story that is the story of this book tells us about um, post apocalyptic world. Something happened, uh, probably a nuclear blast of some sort, not. Uh, the <laughs> not one a blast probably uh, several and the world is ruined uh, ashes in the air uh, that practically blocks the sun you can see the sun you can see the moon but they are um, behind the ashes, so the day gets shorter. The water is undrinkable, you have to filter it with your pieces of your clothing to filter the dirt, to filter the ash. Uh, it's good when you can find uh, bottled water to, to drink, but it's very difficult because everything is pillaged. Um, so the man and the child are on the road they are trying to get from the north because it's to the south because it's either um, very late autumn or um, very young winter it's very very cold and uh, they just try to find a place 
where they can survive this winter. They uh, just go uh, along this road um, and try to find uh, things to eat and try to find water to drink and try to find any uh, pieces of clothing, blankets, whatever they can use. But the child was uh, born uh, shortly after the apocalypse and now he is probably seven, eight, nine, ten years old so it's very difficult to find anything useful to find uh, food that is not expired, isn't poisonous and of course um, there are quite and rather <laughs> a lot of uh, cannibalism. Corn, uh, I, I am acquainted with it. Seem I read some stories about sea voyages. I read some non-fiction stories about. Arctic Circle explanation, explorations, uh, when uh, people got stranded, when people start starving, people uh, eat other people. But in the stories that I read, they usually ate uh, their uh, friends that died after they died. In Cormac McCarthy book uh, people murder people for food. Peter, people murder people for their flesh. And I've never had before this you know, rubbed in my face that uh, we are meat. That we are not only the chain in the this food <laughs> chain but we are the main uh, you know, source of protein and Cormac McCarthy he takes it rather far much further than just murder and it's very very dark and it's very very unpleasant it's horrifying for me as a woman so I think many people just didn't want to be in this world, didn't want this experience, this constant um, awaiting of uh, horror or of something, of a um, trap, of a betrayal, of something horrifying. It was very unpleasant and at the same time uh, it was very interesting because you wanted this couple, the father and the son to survive and you couldn't put this book down you, because you needed to know that they made it, that nothing bad happened to them. At the same time the father tries to educate this child he uh, tries to play with it, with him on the road. Well, tries to imitate uh, things that child have never heard, like uh, the sound, that the train sound, the car sound, and so on. It's very moving. It's very unnerving. It's very dark. It's uh, repulsing. I really, really liked this book. What this book uh, taught me is the way you represent your text, this, the way you format your text. It can actually add to your book, add to the mo mood of your book add to the world you are creating. It was a very interesting experience. <laughs> and 
at the same time very unpleasant experience. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.